Hi, my name is Mark Smith, Halibut Electronics, N6MTS. Um, and today we are going to be talking about the Open Headset Interconnect Standard. What is the Open Headset Interconnect Standard? I am proposing for the industry and the community a standard interface between the radio and the user. Well, what does that mean? Well, when I buy a headset from, you know, uh, Radio Sport right over there, or from Heil, Heil uh, uh, audio, I guess, whatever. Um, they come with their own uh, electrical interface and their own physical interfaces. And there aren't any radios that I can just go plug that into. So you have to buy an adapter that goes from that specific headset to that specific radio. And if you buy a different radio, you need another adapter that goes from that specific headset to that specific radio. If I buy a second headset, I need two more adapters to go to each of the different radios. And if, as you get more headsets and more adapter, or more radios, you get this full mesh of adapters between these two different categories of things. And in a multi-user environment like an EOC or a field day event or a contesting station, that starts getting out of hand very quickly. So what I would like to see is a standard interface that everyone builds to. In an ideal world, the headset manufacturers would build cables to that standard and the radio manufacturers would put ports on their radios that are that standard, and I'd be able to just plug my headset straight into the radio. Bob's your uncle. I realize that we're a long ways away from that. Getting uh, that kind of adoption by the big manufacturers is gonna take a while. So instead, in the meantime, I'm gonna be building adapters. But how are these adapters any different than the ones that I just discussed? Well, I'm gonna take that single adapter between the headset and the radio, and I'm gonna split it into two different adapters. Great, now we have twice as many adapters. How is this better? Not quite twice. If I have one adapter for this headset that is unique to this headset and stays with this headset and then presents a standard interface. So the headset now has a standard interface. And then I do the same thing on this radio. And I have a adapter that is unique to this radio and it stays with this radio and it has a standard interface on it. And if I do this to all of my headsets and all of my radios, I only have one adapter per device instead of one adapter per pairing of devices. Uh, and now I can plug any headset with a standard interface on it into any radio with a standard interface on it. And this standard that I've created is called Open Headset Interconnect Standard, OHIS. You can find more information at ohis.org. Um, so, as a standard, I am trying to push this in the industry and get people to adopt this standard. It is an open standard, so you as an individual or as a company can design and build your own interface, your own adapter for that standard if you would like. If you're the type that wants to throw money at the problem rather than build it yourself, then I do, as a commercial company, I do sell adapters. Um, th so that you can just buy a solution and not have to worry about building one yourself. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, the HHI, the Halibut Headset Interconnect User Adapter. So this is a, uh, an adapter that can be configured to work with any headset. And then it presents a standard interface on the other side. I also have the HHI Radio Pro, which is a radio adapter that converts whatever radio you have into the standard interface. And if you were to buy these, for one for every radio and one for every headset, you would have an entirely standards compliant setup. But if you're more the open source type and want to build it yourself, uh, there is an open source design uh, for the user adapters, and I'm working on open source designs for the radio adapters, that uh, you can source all the parts yourself and build it yourself, or take it and modify it and work it into any other product that you want. Um, or, if you just like open source and you like kits, but you don't necessarily want to go all that out, all out for it, you can buy the kit from me. Um, and I do sell these as a kit. And obviously, these are all at different price points, right? I'm working on open source adapters for the radio adapters as well. So, now that we have a standard interface between the headset and the radio, it makes it a lot easier to build devices that go between the user and the radio. So now I'm taking off my standards compliance or standards advocacy hat and putting on my commercial product hat. What I really want to do, and the reason I'm doing all of this, 
is I want to build devices that go between the radio and the user. This is a product that I call contesting console, right? So the idea is you plug in two user devices, two users and one radio. So now you've got two users, say an operator and a logger, and they're both listening to the radio uh, that, you're, that you're operating. And they can both hear the call signs that are coming in and they can talk to each other. There's an intercom between the two headsets. So they can talk to each other and say, was that a KN6 or a KM6? I didn't hear it right. You know, the other person got the other half of the call sign. And so you can work on it together. And you can talk to each other without having to pull your headset off your head every time you want to chat. Um, each user has their own four channel mixer. They can adjust the volume of the radio, of the intercom, the other user, their own microphone audio, if you want a little bit of side tone in your headset. And then there's also an ambient microphone in the device itself that you can just turn up if you want to hear what's going on around you. Uh, each user has their own separate four channel mixer. And then in addition to that, if people walking by want to hear what's going on in the radio, because normally the radio is just going into your headset. So if people walking by want to be able to listen to the radio to hear both sides of the QSO, you can plug in an unpowered speaker, just as a standard passive speaker into this port here and turn this volume up and that will play the receive audio from the radio out on the speaker. Um, so that's my whole I, uh, OHIS ecosystem at this point. We've got the adapters that I sell, or you can make them yourself if you want help making them. Even though I sell them as a product, I am more interested in the standards advocacy. So I will help you not buy my products. If you want help building your own adapter or making your own product that will compete with my adapters, I am totally on board with that because like I said, this device, the one that goes between the radio and the user, is what I really want to make. This is the proprietary one. The adapters, I will absolutely help everyone make their own adapters, even if it competes with me. That's OHIS.